ACIM Insights Lesson 283 My True Identity Abides in You As I shift my identification towards being God's extension of love, my identification with a body and personality image subsides. With that softened identification with an image of myself comes greater peace. I am not as likely to be disturbed or personally affronted by what anyone thinks of me, or says to me, or appears to do to me, because I am not as attached to that image as what I am. Remembering that my true identity is in God, which therefore must be safe, unchanged, and unchangeable, brings me an awareness of harmlessness. I remember that I can neither harm nor be harmed, for I am love along with all that is. The image of a form that seems to live a little while and then die is not me and it is not my brother either. The freedom that comes with this awareness relieves me of all disturbances, for nothing can disturb changeless love. My heart is filled with joy because in the recognition of the love that I am, I can only extend that love everywhere, for that is what love does. Today I dedicate to walking with the Holy Spirit, letting Him guide my thoughts, my words, and my actions. Thus I will see a world reflecting the truth of my identity as love. I accept His vision as my own so that I may see the face of Christ in all things. I open my mind to the Holy Spirit's interpretation of all that I look upon and think about today. I would decide nothing on my own. I choose the Holy Spirit as my guide today. The whole Sonship is an extension of God's love. Love extends only love, and so love is what we all are. To be love, love must extend. Extension is inherent in what love is. If I experience anything else besides love, it is a signal to stop and open my mind to love again. If I think I see something in the world that is not love, I need to stop and let the Holy Spirit show me what is truly there behind the false story. My mind has believed in many false stories and made many wrong turns. It has not led to the experience of eternal happiness. Because I want to return to the experience of eternal happiness, my job today is to open my mind to receive and extend my one true identity, which is love. That is the only thing that can bring me eternal happiness. This is where I reside, forever in truth. Today would I make illusions real, or am I willing to recognize that only love is real? Today I would practice accepting love and extending that which I have accepted. Today I would let myself be carried by love.